All right, I think we're live now. Yep, so I'm actually gonna open up the chat a little bit better so I can actually see it because I can't really see it at this angle, but um, what is going on everyone? Obviously, you probably know what I'm doing today because I you know, explicitly said it in the title and thumbnail, but today we are ranking, tier ranking, every single TV show I've seen <sighs> Every t every TV show I've seen, minus pretty much any show that is from my childhood that like I haven't really like ever had a reason to rewatch or ever go back to because it's like a childhood show, you know what I mean? And I'm also excluding shows that I haven't watched at least a full season of. That's the only criteria for this list. The only shows that are on this ranking are shows that I've seen at least one season. That that's the only criteria I need. And that also means I'm only ranking that season that I've seen. If I've only seen two seasons of a five season show, I'm only ranking the two seasons that I did see. So I obviously can't talk about seasons I haven't seen. Um, I will also say I'm going to keep it spoiler free for all of these shows. Obviously, I don't want someone coming in here and getting spoiled on a show that they plan on watching. So I'm not going to be spoiling any of these shows. I hope you guys can try to do the same for these shows as well. You can talk about them, just don't be too specific with what you're saying because I don't want to. I don't want someone to have to feel like they have to leave the stream because I'm spoiling things for a show they haven't seen. And we're talking about a lot of shows here, so I will say there's a lot of shows that are kind of from I don't want to say my childhood, but like from my teenage years. Not necessarily like child shows, so basically like children's shows I didn't include. So obviously you're not going to see no Rugrats or like Webcans, not Webcans. What was that one show? Can't remember the name. Um, you're not going to see stuff like that, but you are going to see some of that like Nickelodeon Disney stuff that I watched more so when I was a teenager, because I honestly think there's some pretty decent stuff there that I would watch for fun today. Even would I watch it for the first time today? No, if I'd ever go back to watch it, it'd be for nostalgia, but I wanted to include like a bunch of different types of shows. So this is the order we're going to do it in. So first of all, we have, um, comic book shows. That's the first thing or not. Yeah. Comic book shows. So comic book superhero shows, because I guess technically The Walking Dead's a comic book show, but I include The Walking Dead in a different category. Then we have the couple Star Wars shows I've seen. Then we have horror. So there's a lot of horror shows I've seen. Obviously, The Walking Dead would be in that category. Then we have comedies. Then we have all like the Nickelodeon, Disney Channel, Cartoon Network crap. And then there's just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff at the bottom that I didn't really have a place to put it. So I just kind of threw it all in there. And yeah, we're just going to go through it. And I'm excited for this. It's going to be weird ranking some of these shows because obviously some of these shows, like I said, they're like, I haven't really watched them since I was like a teenager. Um, so it's kind of weird, but I don't know. Very different shows, very diverse. I will say though, I haven't seen that many shows. I'll be honest, I haven't. Just looking at this, there's about 61 shows here, which sounds like a lot, but a lot of the shows are, you know, like comedies, cartoons, stuff like that. So when you really take into consideration that I haven't really seen that many like big shows, you'll you'll kind of, you know, be able to see here, which is kind of the whole reason for this channel. We're obviously doing this channel so I can watch more stuff, watch new movies, watch new shows, and that's kind of the kind of the whole point. Um there's a couple shows where I've seen a couple episodes, but I haven't finished a season so I didn't include it. Those shows include Andor you know, and or the, the new Star Wars show. I've only seen four episodes of it. I still haven't finished that damn show. Um, so I can't include that because it's not really fair to only talk about four episodes for the show. Um, what other shows could I say? Dahmer. I watched the first two episodes of Dahmer and I didn't really find much interest in it. So I stopped watching it. And Haunting of Hill House. I've also started, but I didn't finish. What else is there? There's definitely some other one. Ozark. I watched the first couple episodes of Ozark. Never finished it. I watched them like years ago. I just never finished it. That's one I can't include. There's definitely a couple more I can think of, but there's a lot of shows I'll start and then not really finish. Um, also, for the tiers, we have S, A, B, C, D. Didn't include F because none of these shows really deserve F, in my opinion. Very rare I'm going to watch a really bad show, considering if I didn't like the first two episodes, I'm probably not going to finish it, obviously. So it's... It's rare for me to actually get through a full season of a bad show. So um, let's look at some comments. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No. I almost just ended the stream on accident. That would have been a problem. <laughs> I pressed X on a button that I did not mean to press X on. That was, that was not, um, 
That was almost really bad. All right. Um, what's up, Marvland? When did Scream Four filmed? I I don't know. Um, you mean we're not ranking Blue's Clues in this? Nope. Even though I used to watch quite a bit of that. All right. So let's start this off with the boys. The boy. Ooh, we got a five dollar. Hold on. Hold on. I actually want to make sure this pops up on the screen. I don't know if it will. Oh, it might not pop up. Shit. Hold on. If I move to... Hmm. Oh, no. I have to copy and paste this. Okay, we, we can do it. Is it gonna... Is it gonna work? There we go. It did. It popped up. Nice. Okay. Um... I don't know why I can't see. Uh, I'll be able to see it. Hold on. I just got to pop out the chat. All right. It's Film It's Lee. How you doing? Thank you so much for the $5 donation. Have you seen Barry? Also, have you ever considered bringing anime onto the channel or just sticking with the Western media? So great questions, actually, because two questions that I, I would like to answer. Barry, I've heard so many great things, but no, I have not seen it. Um, it actually is going to be one of the shows that I will be doing on the polls after I finish Game of Thrones. We're going to do a poll for the next show I'm going to watch. And Barry is one of the shows on that list that I would love to watch. And I'm going to put it on there. So if you guys want to see me watch it, vote for it in the polls. And for anime, I would love to. I just I just don't know. Like, I don't know if I'm going to like it. That's what I'm worried about. I've never seen a single anime in my entire life. There's a couple I would like to watch, though. I've heard good things about Attack on Titan. I've heard good things about Death Note. I think there's a couple I've heard of that sound interesting. I would probably check them out. For the channel, don't know. I'm probably going to put those on the polls as well. So if you guys, you know, are curious to see my reactions to those things, then definitely vote for them. And maybe it'll happen. All right. So let's start this off with the boys. I've obviously seen all three seasons, did the reactions all on this channel. Go check them out if you haven't already. Season four is coming. I don't know when. I know there's a spinoff coming first this fall, and then season four is probably going to be next year. So, I want to say this is like an A. Right off the bat, I want to say this is going to be an A. It's not enough for an S for me. Like, I think it's so close to being an S. Maybe season four can do that for me. Maybe season four can push it into S tier. But so far, there is so many amazing things about this show. I think it's got some of the best, like, production values out of any show I've seen. Like, everything looks really good. It has movie quality to it. The characters are great. I love the universe. It's so interesting seeing a like it's like a if superheroes were real kind of kind of explored because it feels way more real than any like MCU, you know, other type of superhero, you know, universe. It feels a lot more like if superheroes existed in our world, what would it be like? It does to a degree, not 100 percent. There's definitely some things that feel a little weird, but a lot of it, yes. And I love like a lot of the political side to it. I think it all really does work well. Homelander is a really interesting character, so is Butcher. I will say, though, I think season four really needs to do something like grand in terms of um, not in just terms of just upping the, the gross factor. Obviously, season three was like all about upping the gross factor with, you know, the, the, the hero gasm thing and what happened in episode one. Like a lot of these things are just upping the gross factor. I really think they need to. Do something for the story that really does change a lot of these characters completely. I, I don't want to go into specifics, but that is something that I think the show really needs to do. And I do think it needs to end as well. I'm not usually one to say that, but I do think we, we shouldn't have more than five seasons. I'm not sure what their plan is, but I do think this could get to a point where it's dragged out. And I really think they need to kind of put a close on some of the characters' stories I would like to see more of this universe, but I think these characters, I don't think we should do much more of them after season four or maybe five, uh, but I'm loving it so far. It's definitely great. I just don't think it's, and it doesn't has that doesn't have that emotional appeal to put it into S for me. I really need to have a lot of emotions through a show way more um, than I would with this show for it to be considered S. It's the only reason it's not an S. Is this actually live? Yes, it is. Um... By the way, I'm going to be reading comments like back and forth as we do these. I think that'll be kind of the best way to do this. Uh, I thought Fear Season 8 Episode 1 was terrible. I haven't watched it yet, so I don't know. But I haven't even finished Season 7 yet, actually. <laughs> I'm like almost done with it, like really close to being done with it. All right. Rugrats would be S tier for sure, maybe. <clears throat> My favorite TV show is an old one. It's called Family Ties. 
Interesting. I've I've actually not heard of that. You'll love Andor when you pick it back up. I probably will. I probably will. All right. Daredevil. Daredevil's next. Ooh, this one's interesting because I just got done watching um, episode four of season three just a few days ago, and it was it was phenomenal. Uh, the season three is starting off really good. I've heard really good things about the rest of the season. I just haven't gotten through it yet. But even just from that, this one's really close to being S. Like, this is even closer than being S to the boys, but I, I don't know if it's quite there in S yet. Because, like, S has to be reserved for, like, a few shows in particular, which I know I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of the five shows I'm right off the top of my head. This might, like, just be outside of the S tier. I don't know. I'm going to put an S for now, or A for now. It's very possible it can move up to S later if we kind of, like, you know, look at our other shows and kind of think about which ones deserve where. But for now, I'm going to leave it in A. It's phenomenal. It's some of the best comic book television I've watched. It's just, it's hard for me to put in S, at least right now. Again, I haven't finished season three, so if, when I finish season three, hell, maybe I'll throw in S. I don't know. I'll definitely do this list again, by the way, like next year, maybe in the future when I've seen more shows and I've finished more of these shows, I think that'll be really cool to do. Jessica Jones, only saw the first season, have not seen season two and three. I did the reactions on this channel. Not sure if I'll ever finish it, but from what I've seen, I thought it was pretty good. I'm putting it in B. It was pretty good. It's not A tier. It's not like that great, but it's, it's pretty good. I don't know. I liked it. I thought it was fine. The boys is S. Yeah, I think a lot of people are going to put the boys in S, but like I need to, I need to reserve that for five shows. My top five. I know my top five right off the top of my head. I know which ones are going in there. Um, but I think these two, those two Daredevil and the boys, they're so close. They're probably my top ten, but they're they're really close. I hope to see something from two thousand, from the year two thousand, or from like the two thousands, as in like two thousand to two thousand ten. Have you watched Better Call Saul? I guess you'll have to wait and see when we get to possibly that exact show on this list later on. <laughs> Just watch Attack on Titan. It's the Game of Thrones of anime. Oh, that, that sounds exciting. <laughs> that makes me want to watch it. All right. A lot of people asking if I've seen certain shows. You'll find out. You'll find out when we get there. Actually, in the beginning of the stream, I did kind of scroll through it. So if you wanted to go back, you can actually probably see it right now. Or I'll do it really quickly right now. So you, <laughs> people are going to try to pause it on that exact moment. All right, The Defenders. So The Defenders was only eight episodes. It was kind of like a mini series. I guess it wasn't kind of like a mini series. It literally was a mini series. Um, I thought it was okay. I don't know. It felt definitely lower quality compared to Daredevil and Jessica Jones. Like it definitely was not nearly as good as those shows. I liked a lot of elements to it. It was definitely important. Like, you had to watch it before watching Daredevil Season 3. If you didn't, a lot of it wouldn't make sense. But I don't know if it's deserving of B or C. It's very close to B. I don't know if it's... Hmm. I'm going to throw it in C. C is not bad. This is like this is like average. I think it was fine. It was okay. I, I don't know. I just wasn't that interested in like the villains. Like I think whenever you had Matt Murdock on screen, I was I was invested. I was interested. Even the stuff with the other characters were, were was fine too. I like the stuff with Elektra, but uh, the villains. I don't like the like the main villains. Not 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 Elektra. Like the other ones. It just they weren't interesting. Every scene when they were on screen, I was like, eh. I don't know. They just, I don't know. They just weren't that interesting to me. Thank you, MC. Please, no stupid sitcoms. Sorry, we have to talk about them later. I'm sorry, we have to. We have to. <laughs> you can skip that portion, though. We'll, we're, we're doing it in a way where you can skip certain sections because I'm doing them in sections. So if you don't like it, you can, you can just, you know, skip it. I want to see you watch Sex in the City and How I Met Your Mother. Well, interestingly enough, I've seen one or two episodes of Sex in the City. Only one or two. Not, not from my own <laughs> willing, willingness. Is that the word? Not from my own... What is the word? Not from my own fruition? That's not the word, right? I don't know. Whatever. I didn't choose to put it on. That, that's, that's the word. <laughs> I'm a little tired of the Homelander's evil wah 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 thing. Yeah, no, that that's kind of what I was trying to get at there. Like they definitely could do something beyond that. 
And they kind of were in season three, but they didn't go far enough with it. Even though I really liked season three. Have you ever considered reacting to Buffy? So I actually did see a, the first couple episodes of Buffy, but I didn't finish the first season, so that's why I didn't include it. But I didn't react to them. I would like to maybe do reactions. I'll, maybe I'll put that in the, the polls. I'll stop watching them, so I, I'll make sure to put them on the polls, and I could always just rewatch the first couple episodes. And obviously, I'm, I'm going to let you guys know I've already seen these episodes. I'm not going to lie about it. Um, so maybe I'll put that in the polls. If people are interested in seeing reactions to it, I don't know. Um, all right. WandaVision. This is going to go in B. But is it going to go above Jessica or below it? I don't know, my only issue with this show, my only issue, was that it doesn't treat Wanda like a villain at the end. It doesn't. And I hated that. Because Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness does. That actually goes far with, okay, Wanda is the villain. Wonderful. But this didn't. This kind of just played it off as, no, she's just, she's just hurt. She's just hurt. You know, but she also enslaved a town of like 300 people. Like, <laughs> like you can't say she's not a villain. And they kind of treat her like she's not a villain. They treat the other guy who's trying to stop her as the villain. And I'm, the whole time I'm like, I mean, he's, he is trying to stop this terrible, like, what's this terrible thing that's going on right now. Um, but it was a good show otherwise. I do think there was a lot of good elements to it. I really did enjoy, especially the first, like, five to six episodes. Actually, no, it was like the middle chunk that I really loved, especially with... um like the back and forth between her and Vision where Vision started to kind of figure out what was going on. Like that stuff was really good. And it culminated in episode eight, which I thought was one of the best episodes of uh, the show for sure. Actually, it was definitely the best episode of the show where it kind of went with those like flashbacks and stuff. I, I really loved what they did with her character. It's just, the, they shouldn't have ended with her not being the villain. It should have ended with her full on being the villain. So then when it comes into Doctor Strange and Multiverse of Madness, her being a villain doesn't feel as jarring. It's felt like a big jump going from this to, to Multiverse of Madness. Then we got Falcon and Winter Soldier. Um, I'm going to put this in C. I kind of almost similarly to... No, I don't want to say similarly to that. I had a similar critique, but it's, I guess it's not really a similar critique. It's more like... No, I guess it kind of is. So the main villains of Falcon and Winter Soldier... I did not really like too much. I think that was one of the biggest issues with it. The other characters were good, though. I liked Zemo being in it. I liked Sam himself. Um, I like what they did with him, especially in the finale. I liked Bucky's character in this quite a bit. U.S. Agent, interesting character. To a degree. I don't say he's the most interesting character, but he's, he's fine. And the villains, though. The, her name was Carly, I believe. It, I just did not like the, her villain. They, they really tried to make you feel bad for her, which I did. But then they would also simultaneously have her do terrible, awful things and then kind of play it off like it didn't even happen. And I just didn't think that really worked for me. I kind of think it almost felt like, I don't know, it just didn't feel right to me. So the show didn't work in the end as well as I was hoping it would. But I really enjoyed a couple of the episodes, especially what was it, episode, I want to say episode three or four. It was one of the middle episodes was really good. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the Captain America 4 film but this one itself was just kind of like uh, i don't know didn't really like it too much then we get loki uh loki's pretty good but is it b or a it's hard to put on the same tier as these two shows but if it would be up in a it would be like the bottom of a it's definitely my favorite mcu show i'll say that much out of the mcu shows it's without a doubt the best one so maybe i should put it up there because it's actually really good. Like, it's the only one that's getting a season two, at least, like, confirmed. Obviously, I'm sure Moon Knight will get a season two. I'm sure some of these others will get a season two. But it's the one that's, like, confirmed already in pro in production. It's coming out this fall, I think. Um, I'm looking forward to it. But, yeah, Loki's a great character. And following his story, I thought it was good. It was only six episodes, but they t told a really interesting character uh, story with, with him and Sylvie. So, yeah, I liked it. Um, not of my own volition that was you're right okay thank you so much for letting me know <laughs> what did I say fruition or some shit uh is I Carly on this oh it actually is yeah it is it is we'll get to it we'll get to it I haven't seen the I Carly reboot though I've seen like episodes here and there but I haven't actually sat down and watched an entire season of it so I can't could have put that on the list 
Uh, we got What If next. I don't know. What If's interesting because some of the episodes were really good. Some of them were just boring. I'm probably just going to put it down here and see because I don't know. It wasn't... It was fine. It was okay. The only episodes I really liked were the Doctor Strange one. And was it the zombie one or there was a different there was another one that I really liked, but there was like only one or two episodes that were actually like worth watching. And I always tell people like if you're going to watch it, you really only have to watch those couple episodes. The other ones are kind of whatever. Um, so, yeah. We'll leave that there. Uh, Hawkeye. Hawkeye is actually a lot better than people give it credit for. I'm going to put that at the top of B. I think Hawkeye is underrated. I didn't like what they did with Kingpin in it, but Hawkeye himself, uh, Kate Bishop, it was really fun watching those two characters. It was really comedic, but it, it felt like it actually made sense for these characters to be very comedic. You know, MCU humor can get kind of annoying sometimes, but in a show that is meant to be a comedy, it actually works. Love the Christmas theme to it, too. It's a great show to watch around Christmas time. I enjoyed it. I would love to get a second season of that. Then we got Moon Knights, which I thought was underwhelming. I did. I know a lot of people liked it. I thought it was underwhelming. I thought the villain was underwhelming. I thought the usage of Moon Knight himself was underwhelming. But I still liked it. I'm probably going to put it like top of C. I know that might seem like insane to some people, but I just, I didn't think it was amazing. You know, I just didn't. I wish I did, but I didn't. Miss Marvel, I'm probably going to also put in C, but I want to say above Falcon the Winter Soldier. The thing about Miss Marvel is I don't think it's a bad show. Like I don't think there's anything wrong with it necessarily. It's just I didn't find a lot of it to be that interesting. That's pretty much the only criticism I can give for it. Like it's a fine show. I loved the first two episodes actually. That was one of the biggest things. So the first two episodes had this really cool aesthetic and style to it. They had like the the like the cartoon drawings and stuff. Like I really liked the the, the editing style. I thought it was really unique. And they kind of just drop that. Like once they get to like episode three, it's just kind of dropped and they don't ever do that again. And then the dialogue starts getting really awful in some of the later episodes to the point where it's just straight up cringeworthy. <laughs> and, then the and then the season ends decently with the final, I like the final episode, it's actually pretty decent. Uh, but I think it starts off good, ends good. The middle is just eh. So it's gonna go see for me. She-Hulk, I've already talked enough about that. Well, actually, not really. <laughs> I've only talked about it on my reactions, but if you watch my reactions to this, it was the only show I've ever reacted to that I just genuinely, I thought they were some of the worst reaction videos I've ever posted because I was so bored. I was just sitting there like, like I was just like that the whole time. Like I didn't have any just care of to what was going on. The character was not interesting to me. She honestly annoyed me more than she interested me. And the humor was just not, it just didn't, it didn't land for me. It did not land for me. And then it ends in this way where they're kind of self-aware about the writing. They're like, okay, none of these storylines make sense. The characters even say that. It's self-aware, but that doesn't make it good. That's kind of the, the philosophy I had for it. Just because it's self-aware does not make it, make it good. I'm not going to complain about the, the special effects. Everyone always complains about that. I really didn't have that big of a problem with the special effects. Yeah, it was weird in some places, but it was weird in pretty much all of these shows. So I don't really care too much. I just didn't enjoy it. And I'm sure they're going to do season two, but hopefully they can do something a little different. Maybe maybe up the humor in like a more entertaining way. Maybe use the character in a more entertaining way. I don't know. The casting is fantastic, though. I don't know who the actress is. I forget her name. But she's phenomenal as She-Hulk. She does a great job. She fits the character perfectly. They just haven't given her any writing that I genuinely found to be interesting. Everything they did with her was just kind of a joke to me. Which is kind of the point of the show. It is a joke kind of a show. It's, it's a comedy, I know. I didn't find it that great. So that's just my perspective on that. Um, Peacemaker, the last comic book superhero show we have here. Peacemaker is fire. I'm putting that in A. I'm putting that even above Loki. It's actually better than all the MCU shows, in my opinion. I'm not no DC shill. Don't know. I'm not like the, the DC's way better than Marvel kind of a guy. Even though I do love DC, I think they're both pretty much equal, in my opinion. But I think in terms of shows, from the ones I've seen, the only DC show I've seen, I think it's better than all the MCU ones, man. It is really great. James Gunn knocked it out of the park with this. He made a character that... I didn't expect to love that much. 
to actually be really interesting with Peacemaker. John Cena is absolutely amazing in that role. The action is phenomenal. It's really well shot. This this is the only like this is one of the only shows. Um, well, if you compare it to the MCU shows, it definitely has much better like production value to it. You can tell there's a lot more. I don't want to say care put into it. I I know these shows have care put into them, but Peacemaker just felt like it had even more care put into it. Um, you can tell James Gunn cared about these characters, really wanted to do something interesting with it. Even the side characters are really interesting. The humor is hilarious. Yes, it's obviously R-rated humor, so it's obviously probably going to be funnier than these PG-13 shows, but yeah, I don't know. That's all I have to say about Peacemaker. I thought it was great. All right. Well, now that we're done with the comic book superhero shows, I'll read some comments. I think we'll do that instead. When I finish a section, then I'll go look through some comments, and then we'll get back into it. Um, I want to see what some of you guys have to say. WandaVision is A for me, hated the Ralph Boner reveal. Oh yeah, that was terrible. I agree. That was another criticism I can give for this show, the Ralph Boner thing. Um, She-Hulk and Miss Marvel episode 1, 2, and 6 are the only Daredevil uh, Disney Plus shows I liked. Interesting. Oh, you said WandaVision, Hawkeye, She-Hulk. Okay, I, I didn't see the first two parts for some reason. I like how you also... Oh, you also agree with me. Miss Marvel Episode 1, 2, and 6. I also said that. I said the first two episodes and the last one were the only good ones of Miss Marvel. Movie Fusion, you noticed me? I guess I just did. Have you considered watching the CW Flash? It is good for the first four seasons and it has really good characters. I have considered it. I don't know if I'd do it for the channel, but you never know. Again, I'll do those polls and if people want to see me react to it, then sure, why not? But I've seen some clips from all those CW shows. I've never seen any anything that made me any even somewhat interested in them. I'll be honest. <laughs> I've never seen a single clip that looked decent from them. But I'm sure there are some good stuff to it, though. Loki better than Wanda has to be a joke. Nah, man. Actually, yeah, this whole video, this whole stream's a joke. I'm just I'm just rating this as a, in a joking way. None of this is actually serious. I'm, I'm kidding. Are you looking forward to Daredevil Born Again? If it's R-rated, or I guess TVMA, then yes. Even if it's not, I'm still going to be excited, but I'm way more excited if it's TVMA. Definitely lowered my excitement hearing that Karen and Foggy are probably not going to return, but I'm still excited. What isn't bad, it doesn't have enough depth to it, no soul. Oh, what you're saying, what if? Yeah, it didn't have a soul. That's true. It didn't really have much of a soul to it. I forgot Moon Knight was a thing. <clears throat> twerk. I'm all right, man. I'm not twerking for you. <laughs> the only good episode was a Daredevil one. Oh, I didn't even mention the Daredevil thing and She-Hulk. Yeah, I, I liked seeing him there, but even he felt kind of out of place. Like, I liked him. That was the only good episode. I actually would agree. It was the only episode that I enjoyed. But, um... Even his aspect, I was like, eh, I don't know. I'm interested to see if anyone really liked She-Hulk, though. I think I saw one person that did, which is completely fine. You're welcome to like it. I'm not going to stop you from liking it. Would you not do Fear the Walking Dead Season 8 reactions? No, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm not, I don't like the show enough for those reactions to be interesting. I, they would be boring, trust me. I don't want to react to something that I know I'm probably not going to like too much. Because I'm not liking Season 7. I'm hearing not good things about Season 8. So I feel like it's just not going to be entertaining. I'm going to do reactions to the spinoffs though. So when Dead City comes out next month, we're reacting to that. For sure. And the Rick show and the Daryl show. 100%. Just don't watch the later seasons of any CW show? Okay. I will do that. <laughs> Have you finished watching all of Jessica Jones? Nope, just the first season. All right, let's move on. Next up, Star Wars. We got four Star Wars shows to rank, only four. There's a couple more that I haven't seen yet. I haven't seen Rebels. I haven't seen, although I know a lot about Rebels. I do know a lot about it, but I haven't seen it. I haven't seen Andor yet. I haven't finished it, I guess is the better way to say it. What other Star Wars shows are there? There's like the Tales of the Jedi. There's the Bad Batch. I haven't seen those. Um, am I missing any? I feel like I'm missing one. There's like, 
the the Star Wars Visions or something. I, I don't know. I haven't seen it though. But we're gonna start off with Star Wars: The Clone Wars. So for the Clone Wars, I've only seen the first three seasons, which is interesting because I've heard amazing things about the last four seasons, seasons four, five, six, seven. I've heard amazing things, but I've only seen the first three seasons. I do know a lot about the later seasons. Like I know a lot about what happens in season seven. I know a lot about what happens in uh, with certain things with like Darth Maul and such. So I do know a lot of what's to come. But I'm currently watching it, and I fucking love it. It is some of the best Star Wars content I've ever seen. Now, season one wasn't very good. It was fine. It was whatever. But it felt more like Saturday morning cartoons you watch when you're a kid. That's what season one felt like. It felt like you'd show it to your kids, and they'd be entertained because there's lightsabers and all this crazy stuff. Like That's what season one was. There was a couple of good stories, but for the most part, it wasn't that great. Season two started to have some interesting arcs that were actually like really like mature arcs actually like politics and stuff like going a lot of stuff that was happening but still there was other aspects of it that weren't that amazing season three though starts off okay and then one episode happens and it just changes the entire course of this show for me and i'm just like ever since i watched that episode it's the episode it's the arc involving ventress by the way if you're wondering what i'm talking about um, the, the that, like three episode arc with Ventress. I'm not gonna you know go into depth with like spoilers and such, but what happens with Ventress? Those couple episodes and, and the you know Darth Maul and stuff being reintroduced and and, and a Savage oppress. That stuff like was some of the best Star Wars stuff I've ever seen, and I cannot wait to get through the rest of that show because I cannot wait to see what happens next. So Star Wars: The Clone Wars is going in A tier for sure. I'm probably gonna put it even above the boys. Uh, not above Daredevil, but it, it's above the boys. It could get to S tier. I'm sure it has potential to get to S tier when I finish the show. But right now, it's just laying in that like it's really good. But I, I I'm not gonna put an S tier yet. But it's really good. There's some solid shit in this show. And if you are a Star Wars fan and you haven't watched it because you think it's like a ch- a children's show or something, I highly recommend watching it because it is not a children's show. It is not. Season one felt like that. But the rest, no, no, trust me. There are some deep, mature themes going on here. Like, pretty consistent with the rest of the Star Wars universe. I'm not going to say it's, like, R-rated type stuff. But it's consistent with, like, any other Star Wars media. So don't think that it's a children's show just because it's animated. Trust me. I I, def- I highly recommend you watching it. Um, and it adds a lot of, like, lore and stuff to the rest of the universe. It actually makes the prequels a lot better too if you don't like the prequels it retroactively makes the prequels better a lot of the characters obviously come into play in the other storylines i mean they have the ahsoka show coming out soon you should probably watch it if you want to learn a lot about ahsoka's character before getting into the ahsoka series it's it's important for that even some of the characters showed up in the mandalorian and stuff so i think it's worth watching if you are a fan of star wars um now we got the mandalorian this one's hard to rank because seasons one and two are phenomenal, and then season three is like the middest thing I've seen in such a long time. Like <laughs> seasons one to two is so good, but then I don't know what the hell they did with season three. It's just not, it's just not that good. It has like maybe one or two moments that are decent, but the most, the rest of it, I'm like, eh. It doesn't hold it back that much though. I still think it's a phenomenal show because those first two seasons are really great. So I'm going to put it I'm going to put it above Clone Wars. But I do think there is a high potential that this will change when I finish the Clone Wars. I do think. That's just a prediction, but I can't do that right now cuz I've only seen the first 3 seasons obviously. So I cannot you know, I can't just say I like it more because I'm expecting to like it more in the end. But for now, Mando season one and two is just too good. It, it's such such great storylines. I mean, the season two finale of Mando literally made me cry. It made me cry, man. You, if you're going to do that, then you, you got to you have some hold over me. You have to. You know what I mean? And um, Clone Wars hasn't obviously made me cry yet. So <laughs> making me cry is an important thing for for a television show, in my opinion. Um, but yeah. Obi-Wan Kenobi 
it was fine. I think it's better than people give it credit for. It's not amazing though. Um, probably put it low B, maybe. Boba Fett, the book of Boba Fett's going in D though. <laughs> the book of Boba Fett. I'm sorry, man. Okay, so Obi Wan, we'll talk about that first. I love the stuff with Vader. I love the stuff with Obi Wan, but a couple of the episodes were a bit goofy. I will say, like episode four was kind of like, eh. And stuff with Leia, I didn't like too much either. But when it was just Obi Wan and Vader, like in episode six, episode three, some of episode five as well, that stuff was solid. That stuff was solid. But the Book of Boba Fett, I just didn't like what they did with a lot of the story. So first of all. Boba Fett's character, he's okay, but he never really, to me, felt like a good leading character. Like, he, he's a great side character, but leading a story, I never thought he could do that well, and I was kind of right because I didn't really care for his story. And then they introduce Mando into that show, and I like those episodes, but what they do with the whole Grogu situation, I did not like. And I did not like what that did to season three of Mandalorian. I think it actually retroactively, not retroactively, but I feel like it led to season three of Mando having more problems than it should have. I think if they didn't do what they did in Book of Boba Fett, season three of Mando probably would have been a lot better. It had a potential to be a lot better. But they were held back because of what they decided to do in the Book of Boba Fett. So I don't know. I just don't think it was that great. But uh, yeah, we'll leave it there. That's all the Star Wars shows, by the way. We only have those four, so... Let's read some more comments then. Um, what's your favorite character in Game of Thrones so far? Probably Jon Snow or Tyrion. It's kind of between the two. Have you watched Luke Cage? Nope. I watched one episode actually, but I never watched the rest. Only one of these I've seen is The Boys. Yeah, it's an A show. Yeah, I think that's fair. Um, Clone Wars is S tier. Yeah, I'm assuming a lot of people are going to say S because they probably finished it, like I said. I think I'll probably feel the same when I finish it because I've heard so many amazing things about the later seasons. And the fact that I'm already giving it A tier, even just off of the first three seasons, that's saying something. That's saying something. So may everyone keep that in mind. First three seasons. So you got to think about it for yourself. How would you rank the first three seasons? Where would you put it, you know? I mean, obviously, you don't have to say that in the comments, though. Obviously, just say where you would put it personally. You don't have to tell me. You don't have to tell me how you would do it based on how many seasons I've seen. But, you know, is South Park on here? Nope. I've only seen a couple episodes of South Park. Yeah, I've thought about watching Avatar Last Airbender. Yeah, I have. I would love to watch it. I haven't seen it, though. You finished Daredevil Season 3 OBS? Maybe. Has anyone told you you kind of look like Jerma? Who's Jerma? Please tell me you're doing House of the Dragon after Game of Thrones. Yes. I'm going to literally start House of the Dragon directly after finishing Game of Thrones. I mean, literally the day after I finish it, I'm going to already be starting House of the Dragon right after. So we will be doing that. All right. So next up, the next category we have is horror. All right. So we have... Quite a few horror shows. Obviously, most of them are The Walking Dead, zombie stuff, you know, um, horror adjacent, I guess, whatever. First one here is Goosebumps, right? So Goosebumps is, this is a childhood show for sure that I decided to include because I would watch this today. I, I loved this show and it's obviously child like horror. It's not actual like scary stuff. Um, I've always wanted them to remake this show like do it again but for a more mature audience because obviously a lot of the people who grew up with the goosebumps books and grew up watching this show which i did read a lot of the books they're obviously aged now so i think it would make a lot of sense to do a new version like a reboot that goes like it does retellings of those stories but in an r-rated fashion so you do like the the blob that ate everything but instead of it being you know pg-13 it's now actually like they're it's full on you know you can do you know a bunch of these these things could easily be more mature and i would love that and that makes sense from a marketing standpoint i mean even other shows have been doing that look at iCarly they did the reboot and they made it more mature because they knew the audience that grew up watching it is now older so they would probably appreciate a more mature version of that show 
you can do the same with Goosebumps. The people who watch this show are a lot older now. There's not any kids still watching Goosebumps because it came out in the 90s. So I would love that. That If I could like do that, man, oh, that would be so fucking cool. Because it's an anthology series, so many different things. American Horror Story is a show I want to watch a lot. I'm assuming it probably has similar feels because it's an, I know that's an anthology. Uh, like each season's an anthology. At least I think it is. That's what I've been told. Um, so maybe that's... Maybe that could give me my goosebump feels that I, I really want, but I think that'd be really cool for them to actually do like a reboot like that. But yeah, I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it top of B. I'm not. I'm not gonna put an A, but it's some good stuff. Like if if you wanted to watch just some scary shit as a kid, this is this is this is the best type of stuff for kids. If you want to introduce your kids into horror, for example, which is probably what I'll do. I'll probably when they're like you know ten ish show them some goosebumps because it's a great way to introduce them into that stuff if you're you know if you want to show them horror whatsoever um but yeah i'm actually gonna turn on my fan it's on a little bit but it's not on loud enough or not loud enough but high enough all right um so next we have stranger things and i did see someone in the chat i forget who it was oh it was evan I predict Stranger Things will be the first S-tier show. You were correct. That is going to be the first S-tier show. So Stranger Things, of course, I've seen all four seasons. Season five is supposed to come out probably next year. Not Probably not next year. Probably like 2025 at this rate, to be honest. But this show is is phenomenal. It's It's definitely getting a bad rep as of recently because it's one of those things where when a show gets really popular, you start to also get a lot of people to like call it overrated because you have a lot of like you have a lot of people who kind of like okay so it's the same thing that happens with tiktok songs right you overhear it so much to the point where you start getting sick of it and you start not liking that song same thing happens with tv shows you hear people talk about it too much you start to get sick of it and i think that's happening with stranger things i think it's especially after season four with all like the, the memes about like, you know, Eddie and stuff like that. People were just getting so sick of this show. So I, I've been seeing people turning on this show recently. But people used to always love it. And I'm one of those people. I think all four seasons are great. Especially season three and four. Season one is fantastic as well. But I, I really do love season three and four. Um, season four, just the way it pays so much homage to so many different classic horror films. I mean, all seasons do that. I just love how they do that. And they do it in such a flawless way. And I have yet to dislike a season. I've yet to dislike even like much of the show. There's like one episode in the whole show I don't like. And it's that Lost Sister episode. The rest of them are phenomenal. Like there's just it's such good storytelling. It's got great characters obviously the music's great nostalgia that it has for people who grew up in the 80s i did not grow up in the 80s but it still has nostalgia for that type of music that i might have listened to when i was younger obviously um and then it has some great villains obviously great production value it's really high budget even especially season four that shit they did in that season was insanely cool and i love especially the homage they paid to nightmare on elm street in the final in season four I was freaking out about that. I have reactions to season four on my channel. If you haven't watched those, definitely check those out because they were some of my best reactions I think I've ever done, especially to that finale. I was just freaking out all the way through, which is insane. That finale is like a movie. It's like two hours long. It's insane. And um, I'm, I'm just, it's going to be one of my favorite seasons of television probably ever for a long time just because of what it was able to do. Uh, I, I love the concepts in the show. I cannot cannot get enough of it. It's phenomenal. Next up, we have Chucky. I love Chucky. Like the Child's Play franchise. I love a lot of the movies. I love the character. I think season one of the show is good. Season two was downright... I want to say... I was going to say terrible, but I'm not going to say terrible. I'll say it's bad. I did not like season two and I had so much fun watching it for my reactions. I did. If you watch my reactions, I had fun, but I just thought season two was just too ridiculous. It was too ridiculous for this character. It needed to tone it down a little bit and it needed to actually do some more interesting 
like horror filled things with these with this character and it just started to go in so many weird directions that just did not work for me it felt lower quality compared to season one as well so i'm probably gonna put in c tier to be honest like i really wanted to love this show season one was was pretty good though it's just, i just did not like what they did in season two and i'm really worried for season three although i'm still looking forward to it but still love the franchise because there's so many good child's play uh chucky movies out there let me just scream tv series down here so the scream tv series uh i've only seen the first two seasons but i've heard this the second the third season is like a reboot kind of like a remake it's not not like a remake but like a reboot it like reboots everything new characters new everything so i don't have to watch it really <coughs> i could watch it but the first two seasons were kind of like its own self-contained story and it was actually pretty good I'm going to be honest, if you're a fan of Scream, the movies, and you haven't seen the show, I think this is worth watching. I'm not going to put an A, but I actually think it's pretty good. There were some actual, like, interesting and, like, surprising reveals, and I think Scream actually lends its well to a series probably a lot better than, than, than movies, actually. Even though I love the Scream movies, I do think it actually works better as a show, and I actually wouldn't mind seeing more TV uh, shows of it, because... The way it works out where, like, you know, you have all this, like, stuff going on, the drama in the town and the killings one by one, you know, one at a time and stuff like that. Like, it works really well as a show. And I really thought, especially season one of that show, season two was pretty good, too. But I think season one was a little bit better. It was really solid. So definitely recommend it if you haven't watched it already. Um, next up, we have The Last of Us. So The Last of Us... I really enjoyed it. It was recent, obviously. I literally watched it like a couple months ago on this channel. And <coughs> this is coming from someone who hasn't played the game. By the way, I had never played the game. So I didn't know anything that was going to happen. This is the first time watch type thing. I want to say high B. But it it's, could also be low A. I might say low A. My only issue with this show, to be completely honest, and again, this is from a person who hasn't played the game. I do feel like it should have been a tad bit longer because I couldn't really feel the bond between Joel and Ellie as well as I feel like I should have. By the time they got to episode nine, I really don't think, I didn't feel like these characters were that close, even though they were. And they obviously were based on Joel's decisions in that episode, but it did not feel like they were close enough. I just don't think we had enough of it, enough of these characters, at least for me personally. And I think I would have preferred also if there was maybe more time for some of these storylines, because the, the show kind of feels like an anthology in the way we're like, they'll have one episode focused on one story, and then that story's finished in that episode. And then a new story the next episode. And then that story's finished that episode. Then another new story the next episode. It's like it's kind of like that. Sometimes the story will be like two episodes, but for the most part, it's one. And I think I would have preferred if some of those stories could like breathe a little bit. Because I felt like some of it felt too fast, too quick. And then they would like take their time on like one episode where it's like doesn't even focus on any of that stuff. So I liked it a lot. Great production value. The zombies were awesome when they were there. I know they're not technically zombies, but you know what I mean? When they were there, they weren't there that often, but when they were, they were awesome. Some of the action was really cool, really well done. The acting was great. I thought Bella Ramsey and Pedro Pascal were great, but uh, I'm probably just going to put an A. I, I want to say it's maybe even low, uh, high B, though. I'll probably leave it here for now. Maybe it'll drop down. I don't know. Well, next up, we have The Walking Dead, so we'll just throw that top of S real quick. You, you all know that was going to happen. You all know that was going to go top of S. That's obviously going to be there. It's my favorite show of all time. It has been my favorite show since I was like 12 years old, and it probably won't ever change. I really don't think a show is going to dethrone this for me. It's just I, it's so important to my life. It's so important to my just involvement in TV shows and movies and just even making this channel. I made this channel for The Walking Dead, even though it kind of evolved into being more about movies and shows in general. It did start as a Walking Dead channel. And so obviously it's important to me. 
and I love so much of it. There's a lot of terrible stuff too. There's a lot of episodes I did not like, but there's so much that I think is some of the best stuff I've ever seen in television. And even even if I include film, it's even some of the best stuff in that. Some of my favorite characters, some of my favorite soundtracks, some of my favorite storylines. So much to the show. I love, love, love. And I'm very glad to see. Um, I'm very, I'm, I'm very excited to see some of the spinoffs. Hopefully, they can retain the quality of the peak seasons of that show. Because definitely, like seasons four to six is like the peak for me. I loved season nine as well. I think there's a couple of good stuff in like the first few seasons as well. But season four to six is like the peak. That that is where I really loved the show more than anything. Um, but there are some good stuff in like the you know, later seasons as well. Not not saying there's nothing good in them. Um, yeah, that's all I really had to say about The Walking Dead. I obviously could talk about that show for for years at this rate. But Fear the Walking Dead. Oh god. So Fear the Walking Dead's an interesting one. Um There's like some seasons that are really good, and then there's some that are just terrible. It's a really up and down show. It's like the most roller coaster show you'll ever see. Like this is this is how Fear the Walking Dead is, right? Season one is pretty good. Season two, bad. In my opinion, this is my opinion. Season three, pretty good. Season four starts really good and then ends really bad. Season five, also really bad. Season six, really good. Season seven, really bad. <laughs> like, really, really bad. So, it's just such a roller coaster of a show. It's really hard to really grasp onto anything in the show. I'm going to have to put in C tier. I'm sorry. There's just not enough to the show that makes me really love it i wish i did but i just can't there's just too much to it that's just not good i don't know i wish i loved it i wish i did the walking dead world beyond is the next one um yeah <laughs> yeah the world world beyond's not good man i'm sorry it's not good i'm putting it into d it's not good um, here's the thing. Need a drink of water real quick. My throat's been hurting actually the past few days, so if I like stop talking for a little bit, that's because I'm trying to let my throat breathe a little bit. It has to, you know, have to let it breathe. So World Beyond, I think the second season's okay. It's okay. But that first season is some of the most boring Walking Dead stuff I have ever seen. It's just kids just walking through the apocalypse to just get from point A to point B, and they're just not interesting characters. They're just not. I wish they were. I wish I loved these characters, but I don't. I just don't. I want to so badly, but I don't. So I have to put it there. Tales of the Walking Dead is even worse unfortunately i i just i hate how amc i don't know why they just can't make a good spinoff for some reason i don't get it man they made some good fear seasons but i don't know i'm gonna put tails at the dead bottom actually i just i did not enjoy that show six episodes and i don't think a single one of them was good there was maybe one that was like okay but that's even pushing it <laughs> Let's read some comments now. I want to hear what you guys think about these uh, these horror shows. Goosebumps is nostalgic. Yep, I agree. I never even knew there was a Goosebumps show. Oh yeah, no, they had a couple seasons actually. Oh, that feels good. Oh shit, that ever feels really good actually. It's like really hot in here, so any sort of cold air or cold thing, this, this bottle's a little cold. Or glass, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> season four is the best yet i'm assuming you're talking about stranger things have you watched invincible nope but it's gonna be a show i'm i'm gonna put on my watch list so Oh, now you guys are talking about Chucky here. Yeah, season two jumped the shark. Yep. Agreed. Haven't watched The Sopranos. Nope. So many shows I haven't seen. So many shows. So 
So surprised they decided to reboot Scream two seasons in. Yeah, that is weird. I don't know why they did that. Which is probably why I didn't watch it. Have you seen Lost? It might appear on this list. You'll have to wait and see. Yeah, yeah, I, I have seen it, actually. Um, Actually, I'll talk more in depth with Lost when we get to it, because answering whether or not I've seen it is actually harder than you would think. I'll explain it when we get to it. Have you read the book? I'm not sure what you're talk which show you're talking about, so I can't answer unfortunately. I'm trying to think of which show you may have been I don't know. Is Game of Thrones up yet? Nope, not here. I will I will say just just a spoiler for anyone who uh not a spoiler, but like not a show spoiler, but I mean spoiler for this video. It's not really a spoiler. <laughs> We're going to do Game of Thrones literally last. It's the last one on the list. Um, I hate to do that to you guys, but we're going to have to. We're going to have to. I definitely recommend playing the game. But yeah, for um, for Last of Us, I'll, I'll play it someday. I would love to. I just want to get a PS5 first. I would rank The Walking Dead as S for enjoyment, but Def B in quality. Well, that's the thing. There's some seasons that are definitely S quality, but there are also some seasons that are definitely like B or even C quality. So it's kind of hard to say. Yeah, Bear McCrary's incredible composer for The Walking Dead. I love the music. The Walking Dead was good until Negan appeared. A lot of people say that. See, I have issues with season seven. And even a lot with season eight. I like season eight more than most though do, do. But season nine, I think, is actually one of the best seasons of the show. Like I really do. So <coughs> I can never agree with the the show sucked once Negan came when one of the seasons that comes after Negan came is one of my favorite seasons of the show. I love season nine. Season nine is fucking amazing. Season ten and eleven kind of eh. I don't know. I love some of it, but really depends. It wasn't Negan's entry that ruined the show, it was the execution. Also, don't forget to put The Walking Dead soundtrack in S tier. Oh, definitely. Yeah, I see a lot of people who say that. I, I mean, I love Negan as a character. I do. Nothing, nothing. I will never say anything bad about his character in, in all the seasons he was in. I think he was perfectly written. But there were a lot of things in those seasons that I did have issues with. But it had nothing to do with Negan. So far, I've got The Walking Dead, Daredevil, The Clone Wars, The Boys, S, Peacemaker, Mandos, Trader Things, A, everything else, low C, high D. That's interesting. Such a clickbait or putting Game of Thrones last. <laughs> yep. I have not seen Midnight Mass, no. All right, let's move on. So next we have um, comedies. Yeah, these are just comedies. Some of these are like sitcoms. Some of these are just regular comedies. I don't know. Some of these are kind of weird because... I guess you can call some of these comedies too, but these are like pure comedies or like only comedies. Um, American Dad. <laughs> let's just, let's just, these ones we're going to shoot. I don't have much to say about these, I'll be honest. So we're just going to shoot through these. American Dad is funny. I've seen most of it. Not anything that's come out within the last like five to 10 years. I, are they still making new episodes? I don't even know. I'll put it in B. It's fine. I, I think it's entertaining. But it's not like, I'm not going to put it that high. At the end of the day, it just is, it's a show you put on at night to have some laughs. That's pretty much it. I'm not going to put it that high. I, I enjoy it. It's funny. But it's not like amazing storytelling by any means. Family Guy is kind of the same thing. But it's a little bit funnier in my opinion. Just in my opinion. Um, I'll probably put it like high B. I don't know. That, that, that looks decent to me, I guess. Like it's it's just if you if you know you're you're chilling on a Saturday night, you're just chilling in your in your living room and you just want to put on something that'll make you laugh. These will do that for you. These will do that for you. But next up, next up, we have Friends. Friends ain't just no sitcom. Friends ain't just no comedy. Friends is a masterpiece. That shit's going in S tier. And I don't want to hear nobody say otherwise. Nobody. I, th I think Friends is very similar to Stranger Things where people only don't like it because it's so popular. So people just get so sick and tired of hearing people talking about it. I can't ever say I don't love it though. It's it's one of my favorite shows. 
It has to be. I have to put that in S. I have to. I can't not. So friends, here's the thing, alright? Let's let's look at the seasons. So there's ten seasons of the show. And I think the chunk in like the middle, from like seasons four to season like eight, is like the peak of that show. You know, even season ten's phenomenal. There's like maybe one or two seasons I don't love. And that's like season nine I didn't love, and season one. That's like it. The rest of the show is solid. It has, in my opinion, some really funny stuff. I know a lot of people don't find it funny. Not every single humor lands, obviously. That's expected, though. Like, I, the nothing I hate more than when you watch a show. Like, I've, I've shown this show to people before, and they'll, like, not laugh at every single joke. And they'll be like, oh, this show sucks because not every joke is funny. There's not a single show out there where every joke is funny. That's just how it is. Comedy is subjective. And I don't want to laugh at everything. I think that would be uncomfortable to watch something where you're laughing every single second. I actually like only laughing like 10 to 15 times per episode. Because imagine a show where you're just laughing nonstop. You'd get kind of sick of it, I'm, I'm going to be honest. So I actually like that you don't really laugh the entire time. Even if the show is trying to be funny for most of the runtime. But there are some really serious themes to the show. There are some really serious storylines that I actually really enjoy. I think what I love about the show so much is that it takes realistic scenarios, right? These are realistic characters. They're just 20 year olds or in their 20s, late 20s, early 30s by the end of the show. Um, they're realistic characters. They're not like rich or anything. They have, you know, a realistic amount of money compared to what most people probably have at that age. Maybe not realistic on average, maybe like a little bit above average. I don't know. I don't know the exact amount because they have a pretty decent apartment for living in new york when you really think about it but that's also the 90s i don't know whatever it's realistic situations for most people like they're losing jobs you know they're getting new jobs they're you know having struggle with money they're having struggle with relationships they're having struggle with family life all that type of stuff it's realistic situations and it makes you watch them but it completely exaggerates the hell out of them which I think that's what makes it more entertaining because it would not be entertaining if it was just realistic situations and that's it, right? So you just have people live in life. I don't think it would be as entertaining because they take it and they just times 100 that concept. So an example I can give, right? It's not really a spoiler. It's just one thing that happens in, a, in an episode. It's not really a spoiler though. So there's an episode where Ross is trying to get back a t-shirt, right? That he left at an ex's house. And um, <coughs> that's a realistic situation. How many times have you left a piece of clothing with an ex? That happens with a lot of people, right? And they have to get it back and they don't know how to get it back. They don't want to ask the person, but they also feel like they could ask the person. So they're like, what should I do? And that's a realistic situation. But what does the show do? The show just completely exaggerates the hell out of it and has Ross break into her apartment because he realizes he has a spare key. And then when he's in her apartment, she comes in with another guy and they start making out and he has to hide behind the couch. Like that is hilarious, but it takes a real, it's a realistic situation. It just exaggerates it and makes it hilarious. That's why the show works so damn well and why I love it. Yeah, that's, that's my take on friends. Damn, my mouth's getting so dry. Have you seen Andor? Nope. Well, I've, I've seen the first four episodes. I already talked about that before, though, but yeah. Didn't rank it because I haven't finished it. Haven't finished a season of it. Is Breaking Bad on here? Yep. Friends is horrible. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I know a lot of people are going to hate Friends. A lot of people do hate Friends. That's fair. I, I'm not going to be like, oh, you have to love it. You have to. Of course, you don't have to love it. The take of Friends being overrated is overrated itself. So. Stranger Things and Friends being S tier, this gotta be a troll video. <laughs> My fave season of Friends is season 5 episode... Uh, oh yeah, that episode. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I love it. It's fantastic. The characters are great. The acting is great. I fucking love um, David Schwimmer as Ross especially. He's such a good actor. Next up, <coughs> damn, uh, throat's getting really bad now. Next up, we have Full House. 
Uh, this is a show I watched more as a kid than anything. It's it's good. I'm not gonna put it that high though. Uh, I'll put it like here. I don't know. It's fine. I don't have much to say about it. I just included it because it's a show I have seen quite a few seasons of it. I think I saw actually every episode. Now that I'm thinking about it. No, actually, this should be a little higher. I'll put it high, top top of B. Maybe behind Family Guy though. Full House is great. It's got a lot of serious themes, genuinely, you know, compared to most sitcoms, so I loved it. Fuller House, though, the reboot, I only watched one season of it. I'm not sure how many seasons they did. I did not like it. I'm actually going to put it in, in D tier. I thought it was really stupid. <laughs> there was a couple of good moments, but for the most part, I thought the comedy just went out the window. The characters didn't really even feel like themselves, aside from a couple of them. So, I don't know. I thought it was kind of whatever. Impractical Jokers. This one is the only reality TV show on this list. Everything else is like a real like show show, like a fictional. This is the only one that's reality TV. And it's the only, it's the only one that I've actually seen more than a couple seasons of it because I actually love this show. It's hilarious. It's great to just put on randomly when you're just, you know, chilling. You just want to laugh. And these guys are some of the funniest motherfuckers to exist. I'm going to put it in A. I have to put an A. I'm actually going to put it above Loki even. Like this, if, if you want to laugh, this show will do it for you. I mean, you got even just them themselves. Like obviously the situations they put themselves in is funny. But even them themselves are really funny people. Like Sal Volcano, I actually watch his podcast. He has a YouTube channel called No Press Network. And he does a podcast. He's a hilarious dude. So even just him himself is hilarious. Like, they are comedians, so it makes sense. But um, yeah, the show is really funny. So another show, if you want to laugh, there you go. Uh, Blue Mountain State. This is a show I, I watched a while ago. I think I watched all the episodes, actually. Maybe, I don't know. It's about a football team. And it's just like, it's like, it's like American Pie, but like on a football team. It's that, it's that kind of like humor, that kind of like, you know, drinking and sex type humor you know that type of thing um some of it worked some of it didn't i thought it was fine i'm gonna put it in top of c i can't really put it much higher than that because i don't really have like a big like you know enjoyment factor of it but it, it was entertaining so I'll, I'll leave it there um shameless so shameless is a show that i watched the first seven seasons did not watch season 8 or 9 or 10. How many seasons did they do? 11? I didn't watch the last couple seasons. I, I stopped at season 7. Actually, I think I stopped like halfway through season 7. I didn't even think I finished the season. I think I just started to not really find it to be interesting anymore. Like I started to lose interest in it. I didn't find the storylines to be interesting anymore. But I really loved a lot of the show though. I did. Um, I think my favorite season was season 4. Season four with the whole storyline with um like the what was it, the child protective services threatening to take the kids away? Something like that. There was some storyline, some legal issue going on with the main character. I'm forgetting her name somehow. What the hell was her name? What was her name? Damn it. I feel like I should know this. Something Gallagher. I know their names were Gallagher, but what was her name? Was it Emma? No, it wasn't Emma. Fiona, Fiona, that was her name. <laughs> I was going to get it eventually. I was going to, I'm, I'm sure some of you in the comments already are typing it out. Um, but yeah, she was great. She's a good character. Obviously, Lip, Frank, they're all good characters. I enjoyed the show from when I did watch it. I'm sure one day I'll finish it, but I just, I didn't really find it to be that interesting anymore. So I stopped watching it, but I'm still glad I did watch what I did watch because for what I did watch, it was pretty good. I'll throw it in B tier. Probably like above American Dad, probably above Obi Wan. Even actually, I'll throw it there. That that sounds like a good spot for it, in my opinion. Last show we have here is this show is called Love. I don't know why I watched this. I'm not even exaggerating. I think I watched every episode of this within like a one week period, and there was a decent amount of episodes. I think I was sick or something. It was like when I was in high school, I was sick, and I just sat through and watched every episode of this. It wasn't really that good. But, like, I watched it anyways. 
I'm going to probably just throw it in the bottom of C. I don't remember liking it. I don't remember hating it, though. So I think C sounds good. Like, I honestly don't remember much of it. I really, I really don't, to be honest. So it's kind of hard to really rank it, rank it. All right, so now we have, like, the stuff I mainly watched when I was younger. Obviously, we have Nickelodeon stuff, uh, Disney stuff, Cartoon Network stuff. We're just going to shoot through these as well because I don't have much to say about them. SpongeBob. I know I said I wasn't including childhood shows, but this is not just a childhood show to me. This isn't because I would watch SpongeBob today. I would. The first couple seasons to be exact. I'm not talking about the new stuff. The new stuff does not look interesting whatsoever. None of it looks funny. Those first few seasons are genuinely really hilarious to this day. Like I would still laugh my ass off watching this show today. So I'm not, I'm going to put this fucking an A. I'm not even exaggerating. Like it's, it's deserving of A tier. Right over here. You know, fuck you, Peacemaker. I'm gonna put you I'm gonna put them above Peacemaker. I ain't even I ain't even joking. <laughs> I ain't even joking. <laughs> Cause I don't know. It's 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 that. There's that many funny episodes. And even some of the like stories are genuinely just kinda and it's entertaining. I don't know. It's something about the animation of those first couple of seasons. I loved it. Fairly Odd Parents and Jimmy Neutron. I'm just gonna throw these both together and in, in like probably the bottom of B. They're fine. They're just you know, they're just fun to watch. They weren't really funny, but they're fun to watch. Drake and Josh was was solid though. That shit's an A tier show. That that is an A tier show. This is actually one of the better sitcoms out there. <laughs> they actually had um, some good storylines with those characters. I Carly as well was pretty good. Victorious though, yeah. Victorious was fine. I'll throw him B. Big Time Rush was kind of shit, though. I'm sorry to those of you who like this show. I didn't think it was that good. I'm sorry. <laughs> Nancy Classified was fine as well. I liked it probably more than Victorious. Yeah. I don't have much to say about those shows, so I'm not, I'm not going to spend too much time talking about shows that I don't have much to say about. Um... Now we got two Cartoon Network shows. I didn't watch much Cartoon Network, so I only have two. But I actually have seen a lot of Regular Show and Total Drama Island. Now, Regular Show is one of the best cartoons I've ever seen. It's genuinely deserving of A tier. Um, like, genuinely. Like, it has some of the most creative animation I've seen to television um, it's kind of funny sometimes. It's got some mature stuff to it too. Like you'd be surprised. Um, but yeah, I think it's deserving of that. Total Drama Island. So this is Total Drama, like all those seasons. I, I've only seen I think the first five of them. I think there's more after that, but I only see the first five of them. There's like Total Drama Island. There's Total Drama Action. There's World Tour. I used to love these shows. And like to the point where I would still watch them today because that's how fun they were to watch. So if you don't know what the show is, it's essentially, it's cartoon, it's all animated, it's obviously fake fictional. But it's this like game show where they all get put into this thing, like this like this challenge and they all have to compete against each other and they get voted off one by one. It's one of those things, you know, you've seen, you know, um, shows like that before, I'm sure. But it's animated, so it's all fictional. So they obviously go completely crazy with it, really exaggerated. But it actually has really fun animations to it. The characters are good. The challenges are fun to watch. I enjoyed it. I think it's a solid show. I'm going to put it probably right next to, to regular show, if I'm going to be honest. Like, it's, it's deserving of that. A couple of, of, of shows on Disney Channel I used to watch, but, like, I don't have much to say about them. Good Luck Charlie was actually pretty solid. I'll put that, like, over here. Sweet Life on Deck. I actually watched this more than the Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, actually. Um, put that over here. So I, I couldn't put um, the Sweet Life of Zack and Cody because I haven't seen a full season of it. But this, I've definitely seen a full season of it. Wizards of Waverly Place, I've also seen quite a bit of this. I used to really enjoy watching this. Um... I'll just throw... I'm throwing most of these in B because they're just, like, they're good. They're not, like, great. Yeah, I'll go there. My babysitter's a my babysitter's a vampire. This show was one of my favorites. I would love to rewatch this someday because this was so damn entertaining. It was kind of like Goosebumps in a way. Like it really reminded me of Goosebumps, but it wasn't an anthology. It was actually connected completely. So this one I'm gonna throw. Honestly, 
probably an, an A with the rest of these. Like, if it was that entertaining as a kid, um, they deserve to be an A. They deserve to be. So that that's that. All right. Now we only have a couple more shows left. These are the last shows I have on here. These are just miscellaneous, though. I didn't really have a category to put these in, so I just kind of threw these in here, and we'll just rank them from here. Starting off, well, actually, we'll, we'll give it a second. I'll read some comments first. I haven't read comments in a while. <clears throat> People have to remember Friends had such a big international impact. on the Armas even said she learned English watching it. Oh, really? That's interesting. The Office is the GOAT sitcom. I haven't seen The Office, so I could not include it. I've seen some episodes. I haven't seen a full season, though. Legacies is so bad. What is Legacies? Brooklyn Nine-Nine is my favorite comedy show. Haven't seen it. Haven't seen Mr. Robot. No Fresh Prince. No, I've seen some episodes of that, but not, not enough for me to include it. <clears throat> Have you watched Dexter? Nope, but it's going to be on my watch list for like the next show we do, so... Shameless dropped for me after the big sister left. Oh, she left the show? I didn't even know that. Oh, wait, no, I did know that. I feel like I did hear that before. I just forgot. I heard it. Big Bang is so funny. Oh, Big Bang Theory I haven't seen either, no. Yeah, a lot of people are saying Shameless didn't stop getting good at, like, season 7, so, like, they should have ended it there. So, yeah, that's why I probably haven't wanted to finish it because of that. But then again, people say that about The Walking Dead. <laughs> Obviously, I'm glad I finished The Walking Dead, so, you know. Oh, yeah, Malcolm in the Middle I have seen, but I haven't seen, like, a full season. Like, that's one of those shows where I've only, like, seen some episodes. I feel like I've seen a lot of it. I loved it. It was really entertaining, but I haven't really seen a full season necessarily. I couldn't include it. What were you watching Big Time Rush for? I don't know, bro. <laughs> it was on very frequently on Nickelodeon, so I would a lot of times watch the new episodes, and looking back on it, it was never very good. And decent music. I, I thought it was decent music, but I, I don't know. The show was kind of stupid. I've seen some episodes of Danny Phantom, but not enough, no. Supernatural, that's another show I want to see. Smallville, nope, I haven't seen that. See, there's so many shows I haven't seen, which excites me, because that means we have so many more to possibly react to. It's exciting, it's so exciting. All right, so those last shows here, we're going to get to in just a few seconds. I need to use the bathroom. I'm going to go run and do that real quick. I will be right back in literally like two minutes tops, and um, we'll get back and rank the rest of these, because there's quite a few here. There's... Yeah, there's a lot I want to talk about because there's there's gonna be some fun stuff to talk about with those ones for sure. So let's uh I'll be right back, alright?
Okay, back. Uh, that was some good water. All right. Let's get to it. Um, so lost. Okay. This one's something that's kind of interesting because I was actually thinking about doing reactions to this because I saw it when I was really young and I don't really remember everything, but I do remember a lot of the bigger things that happen, which is why I decided against it because obviously I'm always going to be honest with you guys when it comes to reactions. I'm always going to say if I have seen things or what I already know. And I do already know a lot of the big deaths. I know a lot of, I know how it ends, you know, like I know a lot of stuff of Lost. So doing reactions just didn't really make sense to me because I feel like that's what people watch reactions for, to see their first time watching it, their first time finding out about these things. And if I already know most of what's to come, it does take away from the appeal of those reactions, which is why I decided against doing Lost. But I would like to rewatch it in the future on my own, probably, because I don't remember the nitty gritty details details because I watched it when I was young. I didn't watch it, you know, myself necessarily. I only was watching it because my mom watched it and I happened to be in the room and I would watch it whenever she watched it. And that kind of ended up being most of the episodes of the show. Like, I remember most of the episodes. And then I started enjoying it a little bit. So I was like, oh, I'm going to watch some of these episodes on my own time. But I would watch like random episodes because, you know, when you're a kid, you don't really care. You just put on random episodes. I would rewatch like random episodes, like the season three finale with the whole submarine thing. I watched that a lot. I watched the finale of season six a lot. Like I watched a lot of those episodes just again and again and again. So doing reactions just didn't make sense to me. So I just didn't decide to do it. But from what I remember from, from the show, I do think this is an A tier show. It is really solid. I'm even going to put it up here above the boys. Um, I would love to rewatch it because I remember loving a lot of it, even when I was a kid. So if I loved it when I was that young, I feel like I'm, I'm so curious to see what like the actual nitty gritty details of the show are because there is so much to it that is so good. So good because it's, it's really cool because it's this like, it starts off as like this, oh, they crash on this island and they're just trying to survive. It's just a survival show, right? That's what you think. But then they start uncovering these secrets about the island and it's just, it's really interesting. Like I don't like I said, I know most of those secrets because I've already seen it, but I don't remember all of the every single detail. So that's the best way I could describe that. Um now we have Nikita. Nikita is a show I watched on Netflix. I saw the first season. I don't know if there was any more than that, to be honest. I didn't like it. Sorry. I'm sorry if you liked it. Cool. But I didn't really find it to be entertaining. So I'm just... I don't know why I even finished it. Because I remember not really liking it. Probably just throw it down here somewhere. Maybe... I can't say it's the worst show I've ever seen. I'll probably put it like up here. It was like, I don't know. It was about this like girl who's like this assassin or something. I honestly don't remember most of it, but it was all right. It was fine. Um, no, it wasn't all right. I don't know. Does it deserve D? I don't know. I'm just, I'm putting it in D because like, I remember not really caring for it, but was it bad? I'll leave it there. I don't know. I don't have much to say about Nikita. If I'm going to be honest. Um, then we have Outer Banks. So Outer Banks, I only saw the first season. I know there's three seasons. I've only seen the first season. I do plan on watching the rest of it, but I've only seen the first season. And it was pretty good. Like genuinely, it was pretty good. I'm going to probably throw it in B tier. Probably be in front of Good Luck Charlie. Like it was genuinely pretty good. Um. And I would like to watch the rest of it because I do expect there to be some good stuff in the later episodes. So I'll probably get back to it someday. Um, Revolution. Okay, so this is a show I want to talk about so badly because I, I want to see if you guys know about this show. Let me know if you've seen Revolution. Let me know in the comments if you've either seen Revolution or if you even know about it. Because I don't feel like I ever hear people talking about the show and I actually liked it. Like, I didn't, I'm not gonna say I loved it, but I liked it. 
and I'm curious to see if anybody else even has seen this show. Like I said, I don't hear people, talk, I don't hear people talk about it. There's some big actors in it, too. John Carlo Esposito is in it. He plays the villain. He's really fucking good in the show, too. But, I don't know. No one really talks about it. There's only been two seasons of it. They canceled it after the second season. I thought it was good. Because if no one's ever heard of it, I kind of want to show you guys the trailer. <laughs> I kind of want to show people the trailer. Like, it's genuinely a decent show. We're going to do it. We're going to show We're going to show. We're gonna show you guys the trailer real quick. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. I just gotta pull it up. Revolution season one trailer. Cause I, I feel like it's it's it, it's a decent show. Like I don't think it's bad. Is it like phenomenal? No, but it's decent. What's the best way to show this? Can we just do it like this? Or no, we can switch to PC screen. Nope. That just removed my face. That's fine. Like, it's genuinely, a, like, a decent show. It's my brother. Benjamin, stop. Listen to me very carefully. It's gonna turn off, and it will never turn back on. What's gonna turn off? Everything. So it's like... Ben. Miles. So essentially the power goes out, right? The power goes out to the whole world, and... Even it even powers down cars and like batteries don't work like nothing works everything just shuts off Planes start falling down like that first episode was wild and then it's a full-on apocalypse And then they go back to like, you know, they have to rely on medieval things essentially to Like it's a cool show. I don't know where you can watch it still. I have no idea where it is. It's not the best quality, but it's fine. He can give Danny. Why would they take Danny? I guess we'll know when we find him. This brother, Miles, what do we know about him? Like, if you like apocalypse shows, you like sword fighting, like, it has all that. It has John Carlo Esposito. I mean, how much more do you want? God knows what they're doing to Danny right now. So you are going to help me get him back. Yeah, all right. You, you get the idea. I don't want to get copyright striked, so we're just gonna have to click off of that real quick. <laughs> um, ain't getting no copyright strikes. Hell no. Probably already did actually. I'm not. Gonna, I wouldn't be surprised if they already copyright claimed me for showing like two seconds of that. <laughs> That's something YouTube would do. I wanted to show that though, because I feel like a lot of people don't know about that. Like it's it's pretty good. I feel like y'all are either trolling or haven't actually watched Breaking Bad. Oh, are you guys arguing about either Breaking Bad or Game of Thrones being better? That's actually kind of funny. You'll have to see which one I think is better when we get to it. We're almost to it. We're almost to it. How many seasons of this? Let me look it up, actually. I want to see where you can watch it. So there's two seasons of it. They canceled it after the second season, but I want to see where you can watch it. It's not like highly rated, so like it's not like I'm not expecting many people to like it because it's not like, but it's not bad. It's it's entertaining. Oh, you can only watch it on Prime for thirty dollars. Are you kidding me? You can get like a Blu-ray for it, but that's about it. There's no like it's not on any streaming service. Unfortunately, that sucks. Whatever. It was it's long too. There's twenty episodes each season. It was twenty two in the second season. But yeah, I liked it. So I'm gonna put it uh, probably like above Hawkeye. Yeah, it's a good place for it. It's not gonna be A tier or anything like that, but it's it's pretty good. Pretty good. The Secret Life of the American Teenager. Well, I don't know why the fuck I watched all of this. I'm not exaggerating. I watched every single episode of this show. I don't know what I was doing. I don't know why I said. It. Okay, I think it was entertaining, but it was so bad, but it was entertaining. So, I don't know. That that's that's it. I'm putting it in D though. It's it's stupid.
Squid Game. I thought it was Squid Games. It's Squid Game. No, yeah, it is Squid Game. Why do I think it was Squid Games? That's going in A tier. This show is really good. I'm actually going to put it like below Lost, maybe. I can't wait for a second season, actually, because I mean, I don't know what they're going to do, because I feel like it is a very good like one season thing. It doesn't need to be another season, but I think there is more you can do with it. I would love to see like different games and stuff. But it's a really solid show. And I feel like it's another one of those shows that was really popular. So then people started turning on it because it was too popular. Therefore, people have to hate on shows that are really popular. I feel like that happened because I don't see people talking good about this show anymore. When it first came out, there's a lot of hype for it. I did do reactions to it. So if you want to see those, they're on the channel. Go check them out. Um, but I really enjoyed it. I thought it was good. Especially those like episodes in the middle. Like episodes four, five, six, seven, like those were phenomenal. I liked how it ended too. I know a lot of people didn't, but I liked it. The end of the fucking world. So I only saw the first season. I think there was a second season. I don't know how I felt about this show. I think it was okay. But I didn't really like it that much, so I'm just going to throw it down here because it was fine. It was like a little Bonnie and Clyde story, kind of, I guess. I don't really know if you would call it that, but it, it was... No, they, they weren't like Bonnie and Clyde. I, I, it kind of felt like that, but they weren't. It was fun, but that's about it. I don't really have much more to say about it. It's a very just relaxing show. Not really. It's kind of chaotic, but there's some moments that were really acting because these characters were just I think the acting was good. I think it, that's what did it was the acting. What do you think is better, Breaking Bad or Better Call Saul? You'll find out soon. You'll find out soon. Did you hear Netflix is going to make an American version of Squid Game? I did hear that, which like as long as the creators are OK with that. Which I guess Netflix technically is the creators. But I don't know. Whoever came up with the original idea, as long as they're okay with that, I think then it's fine. I don't really have a problem with that. I know a lot of people are going to have a problem with that. But like, if the creators are fine with it, then I don't really see the issue. You know, It would just be a problem if like Netflix kind of like took the idea from them and just said, oh, we're making our own thing. You know what I mean? Then it would be a problem. But if the creator was fine with it, it's kind of, it's whatever. The Society. So this show had one season. They canceled it after the first season. It's entertaining, but it's also not very good. So <laughs> I'm going to throw it over here. Um, and yeah, I'll put it down here. It's, it's entertaining, but it's not good. That's my only thoughts on the society. I know a lot of people love it, but it's just the writing was all over the place. The dialogue was awful. It was just fun to watch. I don't know why. You know what? Speaking of shows that are fun to watch but are not very well written, you. <laughs> this show this is another one of those shows. I feel like the writing is all over the place, but it's actually really entertaining. I might put this a little bit higher than The Society, though, because I actually think it's not nearly as poorly written. Like, I actually think there's some decent, really written stuff to the, you. So I might actually put it, like, even in... I might even put it, like... And B? B is like a bunch of like, a lot of the Nickelodeon and, and Disney stuff went down here, but I wasn't going to, by the way, I wasn't going to include the Nickelodeon and Disney stuff at first. I wasn't going to, but then I was like, eh, more shows. Why not? I might as well throw them in there. It's not going to hurt the list. Um, I'll probably put you like right here, right behind Revolution. That looks good. I love the first two seasons. Season three was eh. Season four I didn't watch yet though. I didn't watch season four yet. Oh, a lot of mixed opinions on you. We got someone saying A tier, someone saying C tier. I went in the middle. I said B. Didn't watch season four yet though. Oh, the 100 is a show I really want to watch. Yeah, I'm going to put that on the poll. I really hope that wins, actually, because that's, that's been a show I've wanted to watch for so long. Okay. Now we have three shows left that I feel like are some of the most popular shows on this list. Um, 
Breaking Bad, I have seen all the episodes multiple times. Better Call Saul, I've seen the first four seasons. I have not finished the last two seasons yet. Game of Thrones, I have watched five seasons minus three episodes because I'm on season five, episode eight. So I've watched most of the show, but I have not finished it. So that's the, you know, that's how much I've seen out of these shows, if you're wondering, just, just right off the bat. A lot of people ask me to react to Breaking Bad, but like, like I said, I'm sorry. I've already seen it, so can't do that. Um, oh, Film It Lee, thank you for another donation. $5. Thank you so much, man. Yo, a teaser for the live action Five Nights at Freddy's just dropped. Oh, really? I might check that out. I don't know if I'm going to react to it, though, because I don't really think my audience... Maybe, maybe, would they care to see a reaction to that? I don't know. Maybe we'll watch it live on stream. We'll watch it live on stream at the end of the stream. We'll watch it. Um, just for fun. I'm not going to do a video for it, but we'll watch it here. Just if you guys were curious to see what I think about it. I haven't played any of the games, so I, I don't really have much of a thought on like the game whatsoever, but I'm still curious to see from a horror movie perspective, you know? Um, you was good, but also incredibly disturbing. Yeah, it was. I like season two a lot. It's probably my favorite season, actually. From it. To it, forget the poll. <laughs> Put Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul in S tier, please. We'll see. We'll see. All right, so Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad. So this show I watched, I started watching it in 2013. Like, or 2012. It, whenever the last season came out, I started watching it right when the final season was out. And watched the entirety of it. Then I rewatched it when I was like 17. Then I rewatched it again recently. Like, I keep rewatching this show because it's so damn incredible. Yeah, this is obviously going S tier. This is obviously going S tier. I, without a second, of course, I'm going to put an S tier. Now, let me make this absolutely clear. Yes, it's below The Walking Dead. But if we're talking from a quality perspective, yes. This is more consistently quality than The Walking Dead, obviously. But this is not about just quality. It's also about my own personal enjoyment. It's the subjective ranking. It, that's just how it has to be. So even though Breaking Bad is more consistently good than The Walking Dead, The Walking Dead is, is more important to me. It's more impactful. And the highs of The Walking Dead are just a lot higher than Breaking Bad for me. But Breaking Bad is a masterpiece from start to finish, especially season five, I think is the best season of, of television of all time. Yeah, of course it's S tier. I can't not put it there. Jesse Pinkman is one of my favorite characters in fiction. Same with Walter White. Even Gustavo is great. Uh, even like the other characters, like people always hate on Skylar. She's really great. She has a lot of interesting storylines that I really enjoy. Hank is phenomenal. Every character has a purpose. Every scene has a purpose. There's not a single wasted moment in this show. The writing is top-notch. The directing is amazing. The acting is amazing. The soundtrack is amazing. There's, there's not a single thing I could complain about with Breaking Bad. I don't have a single thing to critique. I don't have a single moment where I'd be like, oh, that's that could have been better. No, it, it, no, it's, it's perfect. All the way through, I would not critique a single point of this show. It's just that The Walking Dead, like, like too far gone... No way out. Like those episodes of The Walking Dead are, in my opinion, way like I I got way more excited for those than I ever did for any Breaking Bad episode. So although Breaking Bad is consistently better, The Walking Dead I just have to put higher because, like I said, I just it appeals to me more. You know, that's that's just that's just where it's gonna be. But then we have Better Call Saul. Now, keep in mind, keep in mind, I've only seen the first four seasons. I have not seen season five and season six, which I have heard are very good. I've actually heard from people that they're even the best seasons, at least in their opinions. Uh, I don't know because I haven't watched them yet. But the first four seasons of Better Call Saul, where would I rank this? I'm going to put it... It's either going to go, there's two spots I'm thinking. It's either top of A or bottom of S. 
I'm gonna put it top of A for now. No. I don't know. Cause here's the thing, I'm thinking that I'll probably end up putting it in S when I finish it, but like just like Clone Wars, I do think when I finish it, and even maybe Daredevil, it it could go into S when I finish it. It could. But for now, I don't know if it's just A. Like I love like season four is, is amazing. I, I loved season four. Even season three was really good. The first two seasons were were good, but they weren't like nearly as good as season three and four. Like season three and four is really where that show started to to really get um, going. Uh, Kim's character is fantastic. Obviously, Saul. The stuff they did with Mike is really good. Um, Howard, Chuck, they're really amazing stuff in this show. I don't know if it should be A or S though. It's so close to S. It's like it's teetering on the line. Teetering on the line. I don't know. Let's just let's just do the last show, and then we'll um we'll see what we'll be on to with that at the end. But Game of Thrones, like I said, I'm on season five, episode eight. Have not finished the show yet. So based on how much I've seen of it. It's going to go right here. It's going to go right there in S. Right next to Breaking Bad. I can't put it above Breaking Bad right now. But I feel like I could in the future. Maybe. I don't know. Like, especially when I rewatch it. Like, it's not just about finishing the show. Like, keep that in mind. It's not just about finishing the show. It's also about when I rewatch the entirety of it because I've only seen the show once. Obviously, I'm all, I'm watching it for the first time right now. Maybe when I rewatch it, it'll hold up more and it'll be even better than Breaking Bad. I don't know, but right now I I just I can't put it above Breaking Bad. But so close, so damn close. But this was the top five I was thinking of when I when I said earlier I know my top five. This was my top five. Better Call Saul, like it, it's definitely number six, but like it, is it? I don't know. Mandalorian, like, season three really fucked up Mandalorian because it looks so out of place. Like, seasons one and two, I could easily say is in my top ten favorite shows. But after season three, like, I just don't even want it to be there anymore. <laughs> like, that's how much I didn't like season three. I didn't hate it, but it just, like, it, it kind of makes it feel like it's not worth putting there, you know? I don't know. I'm so curious to see where this list, how this list is going to change when I finish more of these shows and I watch more shows in the future. If you want to know what shows I have planned on watching, I'll tell you right now. I have a whole watch list. Um, these are shows that I'm going to put on the polls. So whenever we get to... Um, doing polls for the next show that I'm going to watch after Game of Thrones. Um, obviously, House of the Dragon and The Punisher are shows we're 100% going to watch. Those aren't even going to go on the polls because we're 100% going to watch The Punisher and House of the Dragon. Um, and then we have, obviously, the new shows coming out as well, but I'm not including those. So there's Banshee. So Banshee is a show I, I, I've, I've seen some trailers for, but I haven't watched it. Severance, Barry, Secession, American Horror Story, Outlander, Dexter, The Flash, Superman and Lois, Arrow, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Peaky Blinders, The Witcher, Dark, Ozark, The Last Kingdom, Attack on Titan, The 100, Vikings, Gotham, Sons of Anarchy, Black Sails, and I could include many more. I'll, let me know any shows you want me to watch. Put it in the comments. Don't put it in the, the chat here. Put it in the comments of the stream because if you put it in the chat, it's, the chat goes away after a while, but the, the comments I can always look at. So... Um, yeah. Oh, Prison Break as well, I could add. Sopranos, like, an ad. I can add all of those for sure. Well, here's the thing. There's some shows that are good for reactions, but there's some that aren't. So, like, if you think it's good for reactions, then recommend it. Don't recommend shows that you think are good, but, like, would suck for reactions. You know what I mean? Because even some of these shows I don't think would be good for reactions, although I really enjoy some of them, you know? <laughs>
Gotham is good. Vikings are the best from that selection. I'm excited. The 100 show is pronounced the 100. Oh. oh. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> I did. didn't even think about that. Yeah, Sopranos, so I haven't seen it, but I have heard from people, like, they don't think it's good for reactions, but, like, it's a good show, you know. I could watch that on my own. I'm watching some shows on my own, by the way. Like, I, I don't watch everything for this channel. Um, Like I said, I'm watching The Clone Wars right now on my own. I'm not doing that for reactions, just because my Star Wars reactions do terrible. So I didn't think these would do good either. Um, And there's a lot of episodes that I don't think are reaction-worthy whatsoever. There's only some that really are, to be honest. So I, I think it's it's fine. I already know a lot of what happens anyways, so it would be kind of weird. Uh, what other shows am I watching that I don't react to? Well, I guess I'm rewatching Lost, like I said, every now and then. Um, what other shows? Oh, Better Call Saul. Yeah, I haven't been doing reactions to that. Yeah, that's true. Um, I could, but I, I've already seen four seasons. Starting halfway in just seems kind of weird. I don't know. All right. Um, but yeah, that's the ranking. I'm I'm gonna watch that little that thing that guy wanted me to watch. Ooh. Film it. Told me to watch this. What was it? Five minutes at Freddy's official teaser. Let's watch it. Fuck it. Let's check it out. I don't know. It could be interesting. I don't know. Why not? I'm curious. Curiosity has me has me interested. All right. Let's check it out. Welcome to Freddy's. There is no volume. What the? <laughs> oh, this actually looks really good. <laughs> yeah, it actually looks really fun. What the fuck? <laughs> I didn't think that would look so good. I'm kind of surprised. Cool. A lot of good horror stuff coming out this year. Um, all right. I'm going to read some more comments. We'll probably, we'll chill here for another like 10 minutes just reading some comments. And then I'll head out because then I got to, I got to, what do you call it? Edit some videos. Oh, my live free, it froze? What happened? Wait, it froze while I was watching it? Oh. <laughs> well, that's wonderful. Um. Wait, so you guys couldn't even see my reaction then? Am I back? Wait, so you guys just couldn't see any of that? Oh, my life. What? Stuff coming out this year. Huh? I got to what do you call it? Edit some videos. It's fine on my end, so I'm confused. <laughs> I'm so confused. I'm good now though, right? Wait, why did that happen? It doesn't matter. All I said was it looks pretty cool. Yeah. Oh shit, Wait. this actually looks really good. <laughs> oh, I know what happened. I think I know what happened. I think I know what happened, but it's still glitching out. You know why I think I know what happened? Actually, no, I don't know what happened. I'm confused. I'm, I'm gonna wait till I come back. I don't know, bro. <laughs> it's fine on my end. I don't know. <laughs> Are we back?
I don't know, man. I don't know what I did. All right, well, I'm just gonna end the stream anyways, cause I don't know what the fuck's happening. Uh, we'll just we'll just end it here. We're gonna we're gonna end anyways, so it's no big deal. I will see you on my next one. Any, anyone who still is possibly watching, oh, I'm back. I am back. Oh, regardless, I'm gonna end it anyways, just cause it's probably gonna happen again. I don't know what happened. I think it was a copyright related thing because I watched it back and it looked like they skipped over it. So. Blumhouse, I guess, just blocked it, and like they, I don't know why it fucked up other stuff too. I have no idea why that happened. I guess never watch a trailer on the live stream again. Then I don't know, <laughs> but yeah, just so it doesn't happen again. I don't know. I'm gonna end the stream anyways. We finished it, so want to get one last look. Here's one last look at the ranking, and we'll definitely do this again in the future. I would love to. I would also love to do a top 100 movies as, as well. That'd be kind of fun. Um, yeah, I will see you later.